Hi, my name is Jonathan Sidaway and I'm the Vizu Technical Team Manager. In today's video, we're going to show you how to use KTAG to connect to Tricor ECUs. You can see this video and many more videos like it on remap101.co.uk. Let's get down to it. What is the KTAG and what do we have in the kit? Here we have the KTAG. Now, in the KTAG kit, we have a range of different cables and accessories that come standard in the kit and they're designed to get you tuning straight away. There's a few more things that you may want to purchase as they will help aid you in connecting ECUs. And we're gonna be using some of those today. I'll show you as we go through the connection instructions. In today's video, we won't be focusing on how to actually open an ECU. That's for another video. In today's video, we're gonna show you exactly how you can connect to the ECU. We'll be using the Anatech frame and probe set to help aid us in our connections. These aren't standard in the kit, but they are extremely useful when you are connecting to ECUs. Okay, let's go to the laptop. Okay, so we have the main screen in K-Suite. We have the KES button, the K-Tag button, the vehicle list, the protocol list, settings and support. You will notice the K-Tag button is already highlighted and has a blue outline. This denotes the K-Tag is connected to our laptop and is ready to go. We'll be using that button very shortly. First, let's start with the vehicle list. The vehicle list is designed to help you quickly and simply identify how can you can communicate with your vehicle. So we're gonna be using the vehicle list to make sure the vehicle we have can be done via tricorn mode. So I've just opened the vehicle list. You'll notice its default is straight to the KTAG tab along the top left. Now, it does this because the KTAG is currently connected to our computer. I always recommend you use the K-Suite option in the top left-hand corner because this will show you both tools, the KES system, which is the OBD tool, and KTAG, which is the bench system, in one big list, allowing you to very quickly and easily identify which tool you need to use. So the vehicle we're going to be tuning in today's session is a Citroen DS3 1.4 from 2011. This is a tricore ECU allowing us to demonstrate the full capabilities of the KTAG system. I can see once I've selected this vehicle that this vehicle is supported OBD and it's supported on KTAG via service mode and tricore mode. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the tricore. Next, we have protocol list. Protocol list is really useful if you know exactly what ECU is in that vehicle because it strips away the engine size and the horsepower and the fuel type because it focuses on the most important things, the manufacturer of the vehicle and the model of ECU you have. And if you know this, then it will tell you exactly what protocol you need to use. Next button is the settings button. Now this basically has screen size settings, language settings, just general settings that you would expect. Last button that we see in front of us is support. Support has something called log files. Log files are basically a report that the tool automatically creates. It allows us to see exactly what the tool is doing. So if you have any issues reading or writing a vehicle, one of the first things we'll say is, can we have the log file? Because with the log file, we can help and support you further. Okay, so now let's proceed to start tuning this ECU. To proceed, we click on the KTAG button, and you'll see on the screen that we are greeted with the car, the bike, the truck, the tractor, and the boat, allowing us to pick the correct vehicle type for the vehicle we're about to tune. We are tuning our car today, so we will click the car button. Once again, we will find our Citroen DS3 in the vehicle list. Once we locate the vehicle, we can see with KTAG, we have two options, service mode and Infineon Tricor. We are gonna use the Infineon Tricor option today. On the right hand side, you will see an open book with a hand. This is the KTAG manual. It is imperative that you read this manual before proceeding because it contains the connection instructions and exact instructions for you to follow 
to allow you to successfully read and write this ECU. We now have the KTAG manual open in front of us. The manual allows us to see every single connection method that we can use on this ECU. So some ECUs have different connection methods. Some just have one, some have a range of different methods available to you. If you have a range of different methods, it's up to you which one you prefer. Some may require soldering, some may require probes, but you can pick the one that you find the easiest to communicate with your ECU. With the ECU in front of me, I can see there's a picture on the KTAG manual. I use the picture on the manual to check the ECU that I have matches the one on the KTAG manual. If it doesn't, I would recommend you contact the VZ technical support team who can help and advise you further. Now that I'm happy to proceed because my ECU matches my KTAG manual, I can see with this ECU, I have three different connection methods in front of me. Direct with soldered wires, with position frame in EVO, and positioning frame. We're going to obviously connect this ECU, and we're going to use the universal probes. The universal probes are an additional to the standard kit, but are extremely useful. Because they are universal, you can use them on a range of different ECUs, and they greatly reduce the need for soldering. And I would strongly recommend that you do use them instead of soldering where possible. Now I'm going to connect to this ECU using the connection instructions in front of me. So looking at my connection methods, I can see I required to use the tricord lead. The tricord lead does come standard in your kit. What you'll notice is the cables are color coded. Alien Tech have done this to make connecting easier for you. By doing so, it makes KTAG incredibly easy to connect to. To help aid us in our connections today, we are using the Alien Tech frame and Evo set. These aren't standard in the kit, but are incredibly useful to help aid you in your connecting. Once the universal probe is in place, we just have to use a crocodile clip on the end of the boot wire and we're done. We have now finished our connections. We're gonna close the manual and go back to the vehicle list. And the bottom right hand corner, we can see the green tick, which we're gonna use now to access the main communication window of KTAG. Okay, so now we're at our communication window. To start our process off, we're gonna click Identify ECU. KTAG is now beginning its communication with the ECU. Now this will tell me exactly what software it's currently on this ECU. It will also tell me my connections are correct. What you can see on the screen in front of you is KTAG has successfully communicated with the ECU, showing me my connections are perfect for this ECU. So now we're gonna click on read backup and get a read from this ECU. Once again, you'll see the KTAG is now communicating with our ECU. And on the right hand side, you'll see all the different sectors being read. We will now wait for the KTAG to finish. And at the end of the procedure, we'll get a save box come up, allowing us to save our file. At the end of the reading process, you will see it says reading successfully completed, and we get a save box allowing us to save our read file. For ease, we are saving our read to our desktop. Now that the file is read, we need to submit the file to the VZU technical team for tuning. You will need to do this via the dealer portal. Please check your inboxes for your exclusive invite to the dealer portal. If you haven't got your exclusive invite for the dealer portal, or yet to join us, please contact info at vizu.com for more information about joining us. The VZU technical team will return the file to you with the quickest and most efficient service in the world. We do this because we understand that time for you is money. To learn more about our service and what we can offer you, please contact info at visa.com to find out more about our service. Okay, so now that we've received our file back, we are ready to begin the writing process. To do so, we will click write backup and select our tune file. 
Okay, so now that we select our tune file, you can see the K tag begins straight away to communicate with your ECU. And we can see the writing is now happening in front of us with the different sectors being written to. At the end of the process, we will see writing successfully completed to show us that the writing has finished and the tune file is now on our ECU. Once you see writing successfully completed, you are safe to disconnect from your ECU. You will need to reseal the ECU with silicon to get it ready to go back into the vehicle. Okay, so now that we've finished tuning this ECU, it needs to go back into the car for one very happy customer. If you'd like to see more information or more videos just like this one, please see remap101.co.uk for more information. It's been a pleasure to have you here with me on this video. For more information, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at